opportunity comes for Funny Car. We know we won't have the 100th different female win, but we can have the 99th. That's because Alexis DeJoria is part of a group that also includes Tim Wilkerson, who you see will, on the left side of your screen will be in lane four. John Force and Robert Hyde, both John Force racing cars, and then, of course, the Toyota of Alexis. And also coming up will be the top fuel final where we do see Doug Coletta trying to go for another Wally. I talked to his crew chief, Jim Oberhofer. He said, you know, this is a brand new car. They brought it out this weekend. His team, they don't want to test. They're afraid it's going to mess up their mojo. But he said this car, it still isn't quite as mean as our old car. So he said, we're almost there. It's just not quite there yet. They're looking for it here in the final. His teammate J.R. Todd will get a new car in just a few weeks. And J.R. in his first full weekend in that ride told me, hey, it's good to be at the four wide because this is an equalizer. Anything can happen. Says the car is ripping down the track. Connie has set it on kill for the final here. So J.R. says it is all on his shoulders right now. Well, he's got some pretty broad shoulders, Mike. He can drive a pro mod car and obviously can just step into a dragster. Totally unfamiliar to him, no problems. First two cars to pull up for the Funny Car Finals, Robert Height and John Force, both of their crew chiefs, Zippy and Jimmy Proc, telling me that these cloud conditions right now is making the track pretty tricky. The sun will either will be behind the clouds or out from the clouds, and that swings the track temperature by about seven degrees, which is enough for them to address the, the setup and make some changes. So right now, tricky conditions for the final. Tim Wilkerson, um, his crew getting his car ready right there. He said they had to go back to the notes for Friday's second qualifying session when he ran a 4.08. He's not sure if it's going to hold in these tricky conditions right now, but with the competition that's out there, he said that's his only chance at getting a Wally is to put that 4.08 setup in it. Well, right now we talk about those track conditions. Obviously, you like the cloud cover to get a little bit tight because all of these cars make a lot of horsepower. John Force ran that great 404 in the first round, but Lexus is much more consistent with a pair of 408s. But Mike Neff, we heard in the interview with Jamie, he says he's going to get after it, and he can get after it and make that thing stick and run well. So hang on to your hats. Jamie? And now that Neff is up at the start line. Going after it means he's going for a mid 4-0. He said this is the final round on Sunday at the four wide. You're not conservative here, so look for a big number from Neff. Stat guy Lois Bloom, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking about three wins in the Nitro classes for a female racer. Remember, Alexis has won twice this season. The last time it happened, you know, of course you have to go back to top fuel, and that was in 1990. Whoa. 24 years ago, Lori Johns. Wow, well, did you see J.R. Todd? How about J.R. Todd, though? I mean, we've always talked about him being a natural driver, and he just steps right in there and already going to a, f a final round. And he is a truly a natural driver when it comes to uh, top field dragons, funny car, pro mod. I mean, this kid, I, I believe, is one of those rare drivers that can pretty much just drive anything he steps in. Well, now we know the lanes. It's Wilkerson in four, height in three, DeJore in two, force in one. Well, for Tim Wilkerson, he's looking to end a very long winless streak. 59 races, as a matter of fact. Tim struggled this year, didn't go out and do a lot of testing, but his Ford Mustang's coming around. Yeah, he's actually looked pretty good. Uh, he, he looked pretty good in Vegas, even though he went out, he red light, light in the first round. That's why he went away. But qualifying, he's looking pretty good at this point. But you heard him talk about not getting too greedy. Daniel said don't get greedy. He says he's going to get greedy. The cloud cover goes away. I agree with him. Get after it. Robert Height has won a four wide national. That came back in 2012. Alexis DeJoria, yeah, it'd be the third career race. He's won a funny car. You heard Stack Guy talk about that. I'll also add in the fact that no female funny car racer has ever won back to back races. So that's on the plate. And then John Force, he can apparently hit a, another significant number, every number in his Resume is significant. John wins. It would just be the 140th of his career. Your Chiefs are about ready to step away. Here we go. Racing one and two, give it to Robert Height as John comes across the line in second. The second win of his season, the 31st of his career, and now Robert Height 
is a two-time four-wide winner. Jamie Howe. Mike Neff, looking back at the scoreboard, you said you were going to run a big number. You went home with the win. What kind of momentum does this give you? Oh, uh, we needed that, you know, after losing the last couple finals. Um, but Robert was driving great today. We really didn't have our A game going. I was really undecided what to do up here. Just put it back, something that we, we were trying to run 407 like we did the other night, and it just it just all worked out for us. So, uh, no, it's a good one. I mean, that's uh, unique being here with all these people here, the four wide once a year. It's, uh, it's special. Your 31st win. Congratulations. Thank you. Kind of got the idea that Robert Height wasn't going to lose to Alexis DeJoria again. <laughs> no, because he got driven around in Vegas. Mike Neff stepped it up, and boy, he was able to run a big number in the final round. Obviously, with the competition there, you're going to want to step on it. You saw Tim Wilkerson did get a little bit green, spun the tires in lane four. Alexis was a little bit late off the starting line. John Force comes in second. That gives him a runner-up. In lane three, no less. And Tommy DeLago going home third in the final round, but another final round for you. How much have you found that consistency you've been looking for? Well, so far it looks pretty good, you know, but you can lose it in one of these cars really fast. So we're just enjoying this wave that we're on right now and doing what we can do for Patron and Coletta Motorsports. And she's been driving really, really well. The team's been doing great. We'll go to Houston okay, and see what we can do. Certainly teamwork. Congrats. Thank you. And with Alexis DeJoria, who Wipes the sweat off, and uh, Alexis, I guess uh, the third time was a charm for height since you'd already beaten him twice this year. Just, uh, you know, what happened from your point of view there? Oh, nothing, man. We just went down there, and I didn't see anybody next to me. You never know what's going on in the other two lanes. That's the exciting thing about racing four wide here at Z-Max. But, um, no, it was a good run. It's, you know, it's a tough field, and, um, you know, good job. They obviously earned it, but we ran good, too. I think we ran a 409, so it's all right. We'll Thank go to the you. next one. We'll see you in Houston. And with Robert Height, how much did it light your fire having lost a couple of finals? Oh, it did. Uh, but you know what? You keep going to the final, you're, you're going to win this, the big overall picture. But I tell you what, we Mike Nev is unbelievable. He just goes up there and races his own race. It's, it's like he, he knows what the other guys are going to run. He's a chess player. I tell you what, Peak, They ever since they've come on board, we have had some real good luck. Man, this is unbelievable. This trophy's going home to David Aaron. He's, he works for us. He's having a few problems. This is for him. And the driver did a heck of a job with an 044 light. Yes! 31st win of his career breaks the tie with Kenny Bernstein. You know where the first win of his career came? Houston, we're heading there next.